This Wednesday, the USC Trojans and Wisconsin Badgers will be enemies on the battlefield, but today they join forces on an aircraft carrier three times the size of a football field. The opposing teams spent the afternoon on NAS North Island aboard the Navy aircraft carrier, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, also known as the Big Stick. And for the players, the experience of seeing the ins and outs of a working warship, along with the opportunity to say thank you to the men and women who serve, made for a pretty memorable visit. This is the first time I've ever been on and probably won't get too many opportunities to be on something like this again. So um, it's pretty cool just seeing uh, and all the guys are our age too, so it's kind of cool seeing 3,000 kids our age just um, running one of the biggest ships in, in America, so it's pretty cool. It's exciting to be a part of it. Kind of talking to them and understanding everything that they go through to kind of be at the level they're at right now, it's just a great experience just to kind of experience this with some of our teammates and stuff like that. It's just, it's been great. And these teams got an all access look at this ship from the flight deck all the way to the bridge. An officer of an aircraft carrier by law is required to be a wing navy. The Trojans and Badgers were planning to return the favor by playing some football out on the flight deck with the sailors but the rain came pouring down, cutting their visit short. That was the plan, but I was excited to get out here. You know, it was really cool to interact with them and um, see this ship. It's something that, you know, we normally don't get to do, but yeah, I mean, obviously the rain started coming down, so we didn't get to play a game of football, but just the fact that they brought us on board and, and showed us around um, and the hospitality that, you know, they gave us was pretty awesome. Fortunately, the weather is supposed to be mild and clear for Wednesday's 7.30 kickoff. In Coronado, Jordan Wetley, Fox 5 Sports.